Hi guys, welcome to this video. And in the last video, we actually discussed a lot of things about the basic of Python. And in the second tutorial of the Python for data science and machine learning, I am going to talk about the Python data types. So, if you are working with the Python, there are actually a lot of data types of the Python that you should know. And uh, you know, like uh, if you start with the advanced version of Python, obviously the uh, Python packages, you will learn about the more uh, advanced version like uh, pandas, data frame, and numpy array, and something like that. But for Python, actually Python have some specific data types that you should need to know and actually when you start working with a different data science problem you will be actually facing this type of uh, things a lot and obviously we'll be working with a lot of these type of things so obviously you should know about these data types basic data types and uh, these data types actually is going to help a lot in data science journey. So let's start with the first basic data type. So data types are nothing but the variables used to reserve some memory in, uh, space in the memory. So whenever you uh, declare a data type, it means that if some, some memory is there, let's say you're def defining a is equal to 1. So in the memory, it will store this particular value 1 and it will associate this value with the name a. Let's say you're defining a uh, obviously name is equal to something some some variable abc then what it will do it will store the string abc and it will store this variable with the name okay so this is the uh, data types that we actually understand in the programming language and but the special thing about the python data types is that Python variables do not need an explicit declaration to reserve memory space. So, you know, like usually people in the C, C++ and typically Java also people used to declare like int a is equal to 1 or something like uh, uh, um, float float uh, b is equal to 2.5 so something like some some declaration like this is still uh, is, it is, is used in the c and c plus plus or java also so in the python you don't require to use such types of declaration obviously what you need to do just you need to write a is equal to one or whatever data types you want to do uh, we will see like a lot of data types also but uh, the thing is that you don't need explicit declaration and the third point is that the declaration happens automatically when you assign a value so let's say you write a is equal to one by default it will understand that a is termed as int okay let's say you write a name is equal to some name okay abc so by default it will be termed as a string okay so something like that actually happens by default in the python programming and you don't need to do explicit declaration so if you just understand this fundamental concept let's talk about the common data types in python and obviously uh, these common data types are actually asked a lot in the python uh, interview also okay so obviously you need to understand these things well and obviously uh, after the some videos i will actually take a different set of uh, tutorials on the set uh, dictionary uh, and tuple and the list so that you can have exhaustive knowledge about the set list dictionary and tuple because these things are commonly used and these things are also asked a lot in the data science interviews also so let us discuss about the uh, common data types. So, you know, like uh, int, uh, float, these are the data types under the Python uh, numeric data types. In the string data types, you actually uh, write some name, some string value, and there are other inbuilt data types in the Python like set, list, dictionary, and tuple. So, we will discuss each and every data types one by one. And obviously, we will see like how you can perform some of the operations using the list, tuple, dictionary, or um, set also, and what are the actually difference between all those data types and where these data types are actually used. And also, we will see some major programming questions related to these type of data types. So let's start with the string data type. So if we talk about the string data type, strings, obviously, you know, like I have talked about the uh, numerical data types in the previous video. So I've told you like how to do arithmetic operations uh, between two or three different integers or if you want to take a, a user input how you can do that so obviously these things are i i obviously explained in the previous tutorial so let's now discuss about the string data type so string data types are identified as continuous set of character so you know like a, let's say you are writing two or three characters let's say you write a name okay name may be a b c f p okay let's see these are the these are the continuous set of characters these are the set of characters that are written together so this is termed as a string so obviously if you are aware about the other programming language you know that key for a storing a uh, string we actually in the c and c plus plus we actually had to define the uh, length of the string but in python you don't need to do that but yeah some some uh, some analogy is already there so i will just explain you what that particular thing is so if you're talking about a string these are the continuous set of characters and 
the thing is that if you want to declare a string in the python obviously either you can do with a single pair of or double quotes single quotes or double quote you can also yeah, write it using single quote or you can also write it using uh, sorry single quote and double quote so these things are allowed in the python so you know like uh, obviously uh, if you want to declare some string the first thing that you need to do is just declare it okay name is equal to john and you can see that we have uh, declared this name using the double inverted comma and then we printed the name so obviously uh, if you just run this particular code uh, either using shift enter or the this particular thing you would get the john as the output the second thing is that this particular thing print my name is so what this particular thing is do whatever the name variable is so name is here this john so it will uh, just it will call this particular name and it will just uh, uh, include it here and it will print the same thing along with this particular name okay so this is printed my name is john now the here the most important thing is that you have to see like how the particular declaration is being done in the string so if you want to uh, uh, declare to 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 particular uh, uh, string with the, some space also you can do that okay name jane john do if you just run, run this particular code you can see that this particular thing is there okay and the the thing is that if you're just declaring any uh, variable uh, if you're declaring any variable then there is a uh, something called indexing in a string so indexing means let's say you want to access the first letter of this name you want to access second letter of this name let us say you want to uh, access the third letter of this name so accessing each character in string this particular thing relates to that let's say you have declared name is equal to john so what you do you happens is that whenever you do some some declaration like that the first letter is assigned at index zero so something called indexing okay indexing means we have element at each index so at index 0 we have j at index 1 we have 1 uh, o at, in, at index 2 we have h and at index 3 we have n so at each index we have some characters so if we we'll try to print name 0 so this particular thing is the syntax for accessing the characters in a string at a particular index so name 0 means this square bracket 0 that you have need to uh, uh, remember so name 0 it means that whatever the string whatever the character is at a string 0 in the variable name that you have to print it out and similarly for 1 2 and 3 so you know that this particular string is of length 4 but the thing is that we can only access element at uh, index 0 1 2 and 3 so you can see that here we have indexed the uh, got the element of uh, 0 at, at j uh, at index 1 we have o at index 2 we have h and index 3 we have uh, n and similarly if you just try to run this particular code you will get the same output so this is how we actually access element in the uh, a string by in uh, indexing at uh, starting from the zero and obviously the last index will be n minus one whatever the length of the list is now at this point of time obviously you wanted to know the length of the string so let's say the your uh, string name is name uh, and you want to get this particular length so if you want to get the length the function to get the length is len so if you pa pass the name of the string whatever the name of the string is it will give you the uh, and the length of the string so here you can see that the length of the string is 4 okay so it's not like that if you just want to let's say if you want to pass the st uh, string directly not by the variable name so you can also do it let's say we uh, just uh, pass uh, any string any string by ourselves uh, my name okay so if you just pass this, pass this particular thing also you can get the uh, length of the string and you can see that here the length of a string is 7 why because uh, this particular space is also counted as a length of the string so this particular space space is also a, a, a character or you can say that an empty character but yeah this is also counted so 2 and this is space 3 and then this particular 4 total 7 length of the string is the this particular thing so this thing you have to remember like how to print the length of the string and actually length of the string the space is also counted now the next important thing about the string is obviously we'll discuss the string detail but i'm just discussing the basic details related to the string and the, here you have to understand that whatever the details we are going to discuss we can actually discuss a lot of more function related to the string also so here you can see that the if you want to slice the string so what do you mean by the slicing the string so let's say the particular name is john okay and let's say if you want to slice the particular string by this particular place okay so you have two characters here and you have two characters here okay so uh, obviously uh, if the string length is more let's say uh, the string length is uh, something other let's say uh, it is uh, maybe some john do doi okay and if you want to slice this particular thing by this particular space then this four length will be here and this three length will be here okay so this is called a slicing of the string so if you want to slice the string the particular syntax is something like that you have to start with the name so obviously whatever the name of the 
uh, particular uh, string is and then you have to st place uh, the st starting index so starting index if you want to start uh, the the particular thing by zero if you want to uh, want to uh, the slice this particular thing from the zeroth position and then go th uh, you have to go till the next position so you have to start here the starting index this is the start index and this is the end index okay now the end index is something uh, different here so what you need to understand is that when you ex ex uh, put here the end index the end index is not taken the same way like if you put here 0 to 4 the end index is taken whatever the index you keep okay it will be taken as n minus 1 so this 4 will not be taken 4 minus 1 will be taken which is equal to 3 so here by default 3 will be taken but you have to mention n we have to mention 4 you have to if you want let's say you want to slice a particular string 0 to uh, till the length 7 to so you have to mention 8 because if you mention that by default 8 minus 1 will be taken so this is the syntax of python it is not that something i am defining or you are defining or you are deciding this is the syntax of python that you need to understand if you want to do something like that you have to mention the n n means whatever the length you want to consider you have to mention plus one so let's say if you want to uh, we want to uh, we want the whole string okay you want the whole string so what we need to do we just start from zero and go till four so you can know that this is zero index this is one this is two index and this is three so if you put here four it means that you have to we want all strings from zero to three and it will if you just run this particular code you can see that this uh, at this particular place you get the whole particular name Let's say you want just the one the first two characters. So first two characters exist at 0 and 1. So you have to mention the location 2 here. And if you run this particular code, you will see that you will get here J and O. Because this first two locations are at 0 and 1. And obviously to get the one, we have to mention 0 colon 2. Okay. And th this is to be enclosed in the square bracket. So this is the particular syntax that you have to use to uh, slice a particular string and obviously there are some by default notations so let's say you don't mention here the zero okay just mention two okay so by default it will mention that you are assuming zero by default okay and if you want to mention here if you just don't want to mention the end index also and if you just run it you can also show that you will get the full string so if you don't mention the starting point, zero is by default again. If you don't mention the uh, uh, end point also, the last point is automatically taken. So this is the by default thing. But let's say you mention here two. Okay. So two is the starting point and end, end is the obviously whatever the end index is that is be taken. So the two thing that you need to remember is that you have to use colon. Here is the starting index. Here is the end index. Okay, starting and end. If you don't mention this start index, by default zero will be taken. If you mention the start index, but if you don't men, uh, uh, enter the end, uh, end index by default, whatever the end letter is, that will be taken. Okay, so this two thing is understood by default. Obviously, you can do a different types of uh, slicing based on the whatever the string is. So let's say we define my uh, next string as this particular thing. And if you want to uh, slice from zero to four, so this particular thing zero, uh, this one and this particular space is also taken and this particular thing will be also taken so if you run this particular code you will see that this space is also included because this is at index 2 0 1 2 and that's how this particular thing is taken so this is the just basic understanding of the string in python and obviously there are a lot of things that we need to understand with the other thing also okay so numeric data type i have already uh, discussed like how you can uh, discuss uh, know about the numeric data types and in the numeric data types obviously the thing is that whatever the number you take or define the number just define whatever the number is and it's not like you have to declare this int float something like that just define anything a is equal to 1 or b is equal to 3.5 or something like that and obviously if you want to print it you can print it if you want to add something do some automatic operations you obviously you can do that also so these are the two popular data types uh, string and int and the next tutorial will discuss about the set data types okay thanks for watching this video and i will see you in the next video and obviously set uh, list dictionary tuple i will try to discuss within the single video and uh, in the next uh, set of tutorials i've discussed with the obviously loops and all those things and then we will discuss this particular set dictionary uh, these things in very detail and see like how these things are okay thanks for thanks for watching this video see you later in the next video